I get it. I get it. It's cold. It's dark. We're getting beat up by the wind. Yes, it's winter. And in the winter, one of the last things on our mind is looking good, being stylish, looking chic. But that's okay. I've come up with a few uniforms, a few go-to outfits, if you will, that you can throw on and look cute no matter how cold it is outside. So just stay tuned and keep on watching. The first outfit that you absolutely have to pull out, that first uniform, is black on black on black, okay? There is nothing better to me than in the winter stepping out in black head to toe. It's just so easy. It's effortless. You don't have to think too much about it. And it's an easy way to look chic, okay? Expensive. Wonderful, okay? The biggest thing with this, though, is... You got to pull from what you already have. You don't have to go out and recreate the wheel. You don't have to, you know, buy a whole wardrobe of black. Start with the pieces that you have in your wardrobe. And for me, I had this beautiful faux fur coat with faux leather that I had not pulled out from the back of my closet since the day that I bought it. And yes, I'm embarrassed to say that. It's amazing. It's gorgeous. And this winter, I said, you know what? I'm going to wear it. This coat, I want to say, is from Nasty Gal. I'm wearing it with a long sleeve black shirt and some black pants that were legitimately a part of a two-piece set. The pants I coupled with some really cute pointed toe Fendi wannabe dupe boots that I also got from Nasty Gal. And let me tell you, they're probably like 12 bucks. They're comfortable. They're chic. They are so, so cute. And you can't go wrong with all black. All black is slimming. Not only is it slimming, but I feel my most confident, my best. And I did not have to spend um, ample amount of time in the morning just trying to come up with some outfit that's going to look good. I'm warm. I'm cute. I could switch out the pieces. I could do a jean. I could do a, a flat. I could do a platform um, type of shoe. It, it's just the options are endless. I have so much black in my wardrobe, and I'm willing to guarantee that you do too. A good combination is a tight bottom. So I like to do leggings or a fit and flare pant or even a skinny jean if you have like some long boots that you want to pair with. But I like to do um, a, a tight bottom with kind of like a, I love a good turtleneck. I don't know if you guys do, but turtlenecks, you can buy at a really affordable price and make them look very expensive very easily as long as it's a good quality material. And then obviously a jacket. So if you have a black cardigan, a black sweater, or or a cute black peacoat, a cute black uh, trench, um, a cute sweater, throw that baby on. One thing that you want to what I want to caution you against is that you can have a lot of blacks that are different blacks, if that makes sense. Like, sometimes blacks are not always all the way black. <laughs> if, do you get what I'm saying? Black on black on black. Black on black on black. <laughs> the next uniform that I swear by and it's my go-to is literally what I reach for if I'm trying to go out, if I want to look cute during the day, if I'm going to brunch with the girls in this winter. I love, love a knee-high boot with a tight and a long sleeve shirt. It could be a long sleeve sweater. It could be whatever colors you have in your wardrobe that will match with one another. It doesn't have to be all black like I actually went for in my look, but that's just because I'm obsessed with black and I, I think black is by far my most worn and my most available color, if that makes sense. But I love a good knee high or over the knee boot. Put those tights on. I love a good black opaque tight just because they're so versatile. And these tights that I have on are like cinching and I'll link them down below because they definitely get the waist together. Um, I put it on with this kind of like flare shirt. The shirt can zip all the way up. It can zip all the way down. You can zip the bottom like halfway up and have the top all the way zipped. It's just this really cool shirt that actually goes with the pants in my first black on black on black outfit. Use what you got. You don't have to recreate the wheel. I'm guaranteeing you already have some really good clothes in your closet. And if you don't, let me know. And I will do a video on how I sh stay stylish. And I like to look expensive with cheap, affordable clothes. 
And again, it doesn't have to be all black. See what you have in your closet. You probably have that that jean that jean skirt that you threw to the back of your closet. It's <laughs> underneath all those clothes in the drawer. They're there. I'm I'm guaranteeing you have that. And if you don't, another thing that you can do is put a cute short, a cute short with tights and a boot. Yes, honey. If this is not my favorite thing to wear in the winter, I don't know what it is. I know I kind of have talked up the other outfits, but let me be really clear with you. There's nothing I love more than a cute turtleneck sweater dress with tights and combat boots. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. I love how chic and cute you can make a simple sweater dress look no matter the price range. You don't have to spend a lot of money to have a good quality sweater dress. This one, in fact, in this outfit is literally from Shein. Probably paid $20 for it, maybe not even more. I have the same tights, or I have many pairs of these black opaque tights, just because they're a game changer. They're a, a workhorse in my, in my wardrobe. And if you have watched any of my videos, like this video right here, <laughs> then you know that I have a serious obsession with combat boots, specifically platform combat boots. I'm not talking about the ones where your ankles was touching the ground when you were in seventh grade back in the 99s and 2000s. I'm not talking about those combat boots. Not the ones from the beauty supply store. If you know, you know, because I, I surely had a pair. But these Doc Martin platform combat boots, it doesn't get better, okay? It does not get better. I get so excited just talking about the boots. And I will say they were an investment. They were a $200 pair of boots, which I think is really good because I have far exceeded my cost per wear. And it's not the cost of the Prada boot. If you know which ones I'm talking about with the little pouches on the side of them, I saved my money and I still got the chunky boot look. And it just adds something. It adds something. I went ahead and I threw like a faded black denim jacket up top. I am dying for this look. And then the crossbody Kate Spade bag. The real leather bag that I did not drop a bag on. Y'all can't tell me nothing when I'm wearing this look, okay? Y'all can't tell me nothing. Save the comments for your mama. Let her hear them because I don't want to. I'm wearing my sweater dress. And if you, it, it, I'm, I'm on peace. But if you want drama, I am wearing my boots. Okay, I'm wearing my boots. <laughs> this next look is literally the uniform go-to for a day where I want to feel comfy, cozy, but I still want to look like I tried. I want to wear sweats like I've already decided that I wanted to wear sweats, but I also don't want to look like I'm wearing sweats. I know that sounds so crazy, but bear with me. I love a good, comfortable, versatile black legging. If you don't have a black legging in your wardrobe, you're sleeping. If you have bad feelings about black leggings, you haven't found the right ones. The ones that I'm wearing in this outfit are from Fabletics, and they're by far the most durable, amazing, opaque, not see-through, worth every penny legging that I've ever had. I can wear them to work out. I can wear them to the movies. I can wear them to my mom's house. I can wear them to see my man. I don't have one. But if I did have one, I would be wearing I would be wearing the leggings there because they make the booty pop. And they're such a good, thick quality legging. I have fat thighs. I'm just going to say, and I love them. I have thighs and I don't discriminate against fries. But I'm going to tell you this. These leggings, I've had them for probably two to three years. They're still super duper black. And, and... They have not rubbed out in thighs. And if you have thick thighs to save lives, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm tired of rubbing my leggings out in the thighs. I just, I can't live like that anymore. And these are totally worth it. I'm talking them up, but it's literally worth every penny. Get you a Fabletic all black legging, but be careful because some of them are made of athleisure material. These in the picture are actually made out of like a legging material a spandex material that's not reflective that doesn't have like that athleisure quality they look like regular leggings with pockets and of course you know i had to pull off the sneakers if you know me you know that i am secretly a hype bay in my mind <laughs> i secretly love a good street style some of my favorite outfits are street style outfits with sneakers and a cute bag um if i have pictures i will share them but I'm going to just say, these up-tempos, I think they're in the color cargo or khaki. 
I will link them down below. They're affordable. I have wide feet and they are so comfortable for wide feet. I could wear them all day. I cannot wear all sneakers all day, even if they fit because my toes are just, my foot is just wide, okay? It's my dad's fault. It's all his fault and I blame him. So I put that on with a white turtleneck, which is a really great way to elevate a sweater during the winter and a way to stay warm. And then I went ahead, I threw on this gray, light gray sweater over top. I'm warm, I'm cozy. I literally leave the house with just a turtleneck and a sweatshirt all the time and I'm still warm. Um, I'm ridiculous, I know, but I park underground and I don't have to worry about that winter air trying to beat my butt like these bills do. But <laughs> anyways, so one of my favorite, favorite looks and then I just paired it with this cute champagne gold um, coach pillow tabby. I love a good pillow tabby. This is the size 18. Super, super cute and actually fits a lot. And because it is just such, such a plush pillow bag, it kind of just gives winter, you know, it, it's just giving winter. Now, for the last uniform that you absolutely have in your wardrobe or you absolutely must get, you got to have a two-piece sweatsuit. And I'm not talking about no regular, regular, schmegular jogger. I'm talking about get you a chic one. This one from Nike is the best quality that I've ever, ever had in a sweatsuit. It's different because the jacket is almost like a balloon. It has a ballooned effect. It's like... I don't even know how to explain it, but it's shaped so that it's it gets thicker in the in the waist area and then it comes back down to a point. I love to tuck that into the top of them. The waistband on the joggers are literally so thick and gorgeous and it almost disguises the tummy area, which I'm always here for. I'm always here for. You don't have to talk me into it. Um, and then <laughs> I absolutely love um, just paring this down. This is a good movies outfit going to the family sunday dinner outfit i want to be cozy but i still want to look like i actually care about myself you know sometimes i want to be cozy and i don't want to look like i tried and this is this is really it's giving that um i also found it at a good deal because i did not go straight to the nike website i actually think i got this from dick sporting goods but if you really want a good jogging suit, get you a wide leg pair and then you can actually wear it with heels. You can do it with booties. I've worn it with pointed toe booties before. I've worn it with, um, this is going to sound crazy, but I've worn it with flats before. I, I love it with sneakers. And in this outfit, I'm wearing Air Jordan 1s in the color coconut milk. They're low ones. Just call me when you, just call me when you buy the outfit. Just call me when you get it. Thank me later. And then <laughs> I went ahead and I um, put my Coach Pillow Tabby bag on. This one is the creamy beige color with the like brass accents. I had a moment last year where Coach literally just right here, Choco, beat me up. It was just getting me. <laughs> coach, I couldn't stop. If I saw a Coach store, I had to go in it. I didn't care if it was an outlet. I didn't care if it was a Coach store. I didn't care if it was online. They, they were sending text messages to me like, it, that, like they were my man. Girl, <laughs> I have a problem. I had to block Coach because I couldn't stop buying Coach. It, is, is it me? Am I the problem? <laughs> but anyways, the bag is amazing. It's thick. It has that pillow quality like I mentioned. It's so plush. The leather, I, I want to say it's like Napa leather. I don't even know. I just know it feels good when I touch it. That's all I, that's all I need to know, actually. Um, so, so worth it. So worth it. 10 out of 10. This outfit, you have it. You don't even need to invest. Just go ahead and throw that. That sweatsuit that you've been sleeping on, go ahead and throw it on. Accessorize it. Put you some gold accessories on, boo. Put a watch on. Throw that, um, that turtleneck underneath. It's just going to elevate it a little bit more and look like you tried. And make sure, if you do nothing more, get you a wide leg pair of sweats or a two-piece set. Because it's going to be a workhorse for you. I could use the bottom for many things. I can't tell you how many times I done, I done threw that top on with a pair of jeans and some sneakers. I, I can't tell you how many times I done threw that top on with some, because it's so long. I literally have worn it with leggings and heels like it's a dress. And I'm going to keep doing things like that because I love me. Okay? <laughs> And those are my uniforms, some of my go-to uniforms for the winter. If I want to be comfortable, cozy, chic, and cute, and also warm, I'm going to go for one of those outfits all the time. And I have many, many other combinations that are just kind of in my brain that I go to when I don't want to, I want to take the guesswork out of getting dressed. Of course, we all want to look good with 
how much effort. And honestly, if you got to this point in the video, then just go ahead and subscribe to the tribe. We're growing and it's showing. And if you're interested in more tips like this, different ways that you can elevate your style at an affordable cost, just go